cold, rainy, freaking woohoo. Oh, this is gonna be fun wiping the lens every five seconds. Oh, there's more. Hi, if you're new here, my name's Erin. I vlog while I run. I vlog. I'm currently training for my first full marathon. I ran outside through the whole winter to do this. The marathon is scheduled for November. Might not happen. Either way, I'm gonna run one. And yes, I'm gonna film it. Today we have 6.2 miles scheduled, which is a nice break from last week, which was 10 miles. However, next week is 11, the next week is 12, the next week is 13, and the next week is 14. I'm gonna take this little break while I can, even though I don't even feel like running one mile today. So let's head out, but first, running outfit of the day. Oh, we got a little break in the rain for a minute. We're not even a mile into this run. There's the scenery. We're gonna be going down that hill in a little bit. We're not even a mile in. My legs and feet just feel really tired. I definitely did not eat enough because I had a protein bar and water and coffee at like seven this morning. And I kept thinking that I was gonna leave for my run around like 9.30. So I didn't want anything trying to settle in my stomach. Well, it kept getting pushed back. Then I had to put Indy down for a nap. And then the kids needed stuff. Sometimes it's just easier for me to do it. So I took care of that. And now it's almost lunchtime and I haven't eaten a proper breakfast yet. So I'm thinking I might struggle a little more than normal on this run, but we'll see. If I was gonna do anything more than six, I would have eaten something more and then just waited couple hours to go run but I have so much to fit in today I'm like I can run a little over six miles on a protein bar water and coffee I think tree tunnel vibes for me oh, tree tunnel vibes for you five more miles I'll say hi to the cheer squad up ahead I'm definitely second guessing the route that I put together today if I'm already this tired because it involves that really, 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 really long uphill that I thought I was lost on last week. It took forever to get up. It wasn't that steep, it was just long, like a mile long, steady uphill. And I thought, oh, I can do that. <laughs> I can do that, but I don't wanna do that. Let's go say hi to the cheer squad. Cheer squad! You guys freaking rock. See you tomorrow. I was so close to stepping in that. We're on that really long, slow uphill. <sighs> my legs definitely feel tired. Maybe I need to up my leg workout game because I don't know. I don't think I felt like this last week. And I ran longer before I got to this point. I'm more winded. I don't know, guys. But here we are. We're still going. I don't even know what week this is with no alcohol. Maybe three? Has it been three? Or four? I have no idea. No, I think three. I did have a one cookie last night. That was the first cookie I had in probably a month. It was delicious. I'm not gonna fool myself into thinking it wasn't. But something I learned from Coach Alicia is that you don't want to completely deprive yourself because you're not gonna stay on the plan that you're on. The health, whatever. Oh, I'm tired. So I'll have a cookie. You know, whenever I'm on my period, pretty much. That's when I crave that stuff. <laughs> fruit chew time. We're doing Gatorade fruit punch chews again. Hopefully, hopefully this gives me the energy to finish this stupid hill. If it seems like I've been on this hill for a long time, it's because I have. And I haven't even filmed a quarter of it. 
I don't remember this part of the hill being this steep last time. We're about to ed we're about to enter a really windy section. So I probably won't film for a little bit. And now I forgot what I was gonna say. Dang it, Gatorade sponsor me. We're gonna get to a nice lookout. I'm gonna try and take another Instagram picture. I am just really dying. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Patting myself on the back. Present me is patting my past me on the back because when I planned this route, although I tortured myself up that really long hill, the 6.2 miles ends halfway up that really steep death hill at the end. So I only have to run up half of it and I can just crawl up the rest. Maybe I'll go live on TikTok. I don't know, choices, you know? Cameras do not do this justice. How pretty this field looks. Instagram picture, check. Ran up the last big hill, check. Look at the foggy, cloudy view, check. Now we get to go down this hill, run halfway up the uh, really, really steep hill, walk the rest of the way home in the pouring rain. Then we're gonna clean, then we're gonna edit, eat and shower and stretch and take care of the kids somewhere in there. <laughs> Let's be honest, the second I get home, they're gonna be like, oh, I'm hungry, I want lunch. Cause I know they're in the garage helping Dan work on the Jeep and they don't think of food until I come in the house. It's important on days like this, when it's cold and rainy, you're tired, you didn't eat enough, you're angry, hangry, you know, just not feeling it. It's so, so important to not give yourself the option to go for a run or not, or to whatever you're working toward. Maybe it's a walk, maybe it's eating healthy. It's just really important to never give yourself the option because if I had the option to not run today, I would not have ran today. <laughs> this wasn't my favorite run. There were some good parts about it, such as finishing and going the rest of my day, knowing that I still got out here and still got it done. That's almost a euphoric feeling in itself, knowing that you overcame all those feelings of not wanting to go and self-doubt and uh, you overcame all that and you still did it. That feeling is amazing. But when you're in it, like the beginning of this run, I was like, okay, great. I pushed myself to get out here. Now what? It still sucks. <laughs> you just got to get to the end on those days because now I'm basking in the glory of that beautiful downhill and not even needing to run up this full uphill. Then I can just go about my day and just feel good about myself. Did I run my fastest? No, <laughs> but I still got my long run in for the week and I feel good about it. So what's something today that you're gonna do that you feel good about? Or what's something you already did that you feel good about? Right now in the situation of this pandemic, there's so much uncertainty, so many scary things, so much unknown that's happening. You don't know what to expect in the future. Nobody knows. No one knows how this is gonna affect us. And that's scary and you can't control that. You can only control so much. What you can control is working toward your personal goal. So take this time, just time out of social media, time out of the negative news. Watch stuff like this if you're gonna watch something. Watch uplifting motivational things and work toward your personal goal. You can control that. Take baby steps every day. We'll come out of this somehow. But do you wanna come out of it as a better version than yourself or as a worse version? Self-care is important, but self-care doesn't have to be self-destructive either. Finishing strong. And here we go. All right, I did actually have to run up quite a bit of the hill, but I spared myself the rest. I'm like, I'm just gonna run really fast until I hit 6.2. Running really fast on this hill, it's really hard. 
and it is raining really hard. And I want to sleep really hard. School is very hard. Life is very hard. Oh my God, I'm home and I didn't even close out the video. I don't think, did I? No, I don't know. I'm freezing cold. I'm stopping wet. It was a crappy run and a crappy day, but tomorrow's a new run and a new day. So be sure to like this video. It really supports my ego and my channel. Your comments are my accountability and be sure to subscribe to struggle along on this marathon training and life because let's be honest, life is one big struggle. Let's do it together. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.